Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. We're going to talk about Chanel price increase 2023 in Europe in particular. It's insane. It's happening again. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This is going to be a doozy. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Get access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Jacob all spelled together there for extra perks. This video is filmed in front of, live, in front of my uh, members and patrons. Let me cue you guys in, tier two members and patrons in particular. Let's talk about it. We've been also filming other topics. So you can see the chats are kind of scrolling slowly because we are a limited uh, bunch of peeps here. Now, the Purse blog, uh, hi, hi to the Purse blog, by the way, uh, posted an interesting um, article called, uh, is the Chanel price increase 2023 happening soon? Now, uh, speculation has it in March, right before or right when, the main spring summer 2023 collection hits um this article has interesting points about like increases in the in the past years like what they what what we've learned from that the first confirmed price changes early signs of an impending increase interesting i read the part of the article talking about uh, impending increase so the first signs and i i can attest to that it's happened really a lot i've also noticed these changes happen on their website where they post a title like uh so they have the um, a bag or shoes or whatever and then all of a sudden they take the price offline and it just says price upon request and they usually do that with certain pieces they don't anymore they've done this in the past as well they don't kind of lift the price on everything on the same day some things change in price at, at different times and not everything happens at once uh back in 2020 uh 2019, uh, the uh, slingbacks received like three or four price increases within four months, incrementally, like 10, 20, $40 price increases, always like sneakily out of the blue. And uh, yeah, then their major price increases with the bags all usually happen at once. But then there's like small leather goods receive price increases throughout the year. Certain SLGs as opposed to others receive price increases. It's always a sneaky little thing that Chanel does. But the major thing that's happening now is there's this speculation about 15 to 17 percent price increase on the Timeless Classics and the reissues, uh, also the boy bags and the 19 bags. Girl. It's ridiculous at this point. I mean, already now, throughout the entire year, the maxis do not have a price listed anymore. Like, even Chanel is embarrassed of their own prices at this point. So when you check out the double flap maxi or the maxi uh, 255, it's going to say price upon request. In the past, that was not the case because these bags were still under the $10,000 bracket now they're above uh, actually the jumbo is also going to be above well it is already above if you add the tax on top of that and the medium is also going to go over 10k what the hell are they thinking this is insane um so you know and um the article also mentions VIP shoppers, like people who buy a lot. Usually the sales associates kind of tend to let their VIP clients know if there's a price increase coming. And then they kind of spread the news like wildfire and then everybody finds out and then, you know, and then the rumor starts. And this is probably how this particular rumor also started. Their last price increase was a year ago. So it kind of makes sense that they would put in another price increase, especially because they want to earn more money from their bags, given that the other stuff isn't allegedly selling as much. Uh, I don't know if they're going to get the same dividends that they got in 2021, the Wertheimer brothers. Now, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged. Everything is just my opinion. Let's be very clear about this. The increase in the past years, they say, uh, one reason many believe a price increase at Chanel will happen this month is that historically over the past few years, Chanel has upped their prices, ba bag prices in January or in March, which is true. Now, January has passed. February is also passing. So... It's probably going to be March. The first confirmed price change, uh, thanks to uh, one of the members of the uh, Purse Forum, uh, they have noticed that the Chanel denim mini flap was priced as at $4,500 a couple of days ago. And then the price disappeared. And then overnight, in the next morning, they the price reappeared uh, at $4,900. That's an 8.9% price increase. So the price increases are actually already happening also in the States. So this particular bag went jumped up from four five to four nine plus tax. So now we're at over five thousand dollars for a denim, a denim bag, a mini denim bag. Five k, 
over 5K. That's including tax. And uh, yeah, and then this this um, this is the mini in question. Oh, it's blue. I have a blue. Oh, this is so typical. I have a blue background, um, blue screen, so I can't show you the bag. Envision it. It's blue. <laughs> That's the mini. Transparent mini in blue denim. Hilarious. So there's that. But even more interesting, uh, I found the comments under the article. And this is what I want to touch base with you on. Um, so somebody wrote, the problem is that I am in, and this, listen, you guys, I, and I want to ask you, uh, and I wanted to make a separate video just on this topic, but we can touch base on it right here. Uh, somebody wrote a super interesting comment to think about. The problem is that I am embarrassed to use uh, my Chanel bags now. Before all this, Chanel classics were just right for everyday life, slightly elevated, I concede and was perfect for travel. They are less structured and lighter. Now, I don't want to wear something around that costs more than maybe someone's car. It feels insensitive and casts the wrong image. So I use mine much less often now. Sigh. Somebody then answers, says, couldn't agree more. I now don't use mine because I think maybe I will sell them down the line when I'm bored and the price will be better if they are pristine. Also, thanks to Instagram, I'm more drawn to no logo options that are also thankfully more wallet friendly like Loewe. Somebody else says, so agree, a price of a down payment for a Benz, Mercedes Benz. Just why don't they just stop it? Somebody else says, I agree with you. I don't feel right using my Chanel bags as much as I previously did. Are you also feeling this? Because I am. And I started this already years ago telling you, hey, I'm I'm reverting more and more to the 255. That's more kind of a silent luxury. There's no double C logo, very visual. And uh, just felt more comfortable, really, than kind of sporting the double c i don't get me wrong i still to this day believe that the double c logo is one of the most beautiful logos ever created i think it's beautiful to see but the problem is what this logo stands for at the moment is just really vile in my opinion so uh, interesting to see that on the purse form people are more and more aware of this that they're more and more aware i think this is a great thing somebody else says price increase or not at this point chanel designs are no longer something aesthetically i am interested in and then uh, that comment received an answer. I agree. If I see one more classic flap on social media, I'll vomit. A once beautiful and classic bag has become so common thanks to 20-something influencers. I'm so glad I purchased non-classic Chanel bags. I will continue to enjoy the ones I have as cross um, the classic flap off my wish list. Somebody else says, insane to pay Chanel prices. The consumer sets the market by continuing to purchase the bags. Also very true. Uh, but people need to wake up and smell the coffee and realize this ain't it. Zon, zon. Uh, somebody else says, there are a lot of consumers with loads of disposable income who don't mind paying these prices. That comment receives an answer. says, I have no problem paying the increased prices, but I'm always on the lookout for pre-loved Chanel. Quite evident, and that's why they keep going up, because people keep buying them. Somebody else says, the leather... The best leather at wholesale costs $10 square foot. Bags cost around $150 to make. That leaves plenty of room for profit. Uh, this seems like uh, that uh, bag cutter guy from TikTok commented on this one. I mean, I don't know if I agree fully on this, but somebody else says prices increase all the time. I don't really see the need for these posts at this point. If I am ready to buy something, I'll worry about the price then. Otherwise, it's meaningless. Um, and then somebody answered, oh, if only this blog was written just for you. <laughs> oh, the shade, live in it. Uh, but yeah, no, I also agree at a certain point, like, why are we even talking about it? I mean, it's, it's news, it's clickable, clickable. People want to hear about it because people just want to be in awe and, and shook together and uh, also be disgusted by it together. So it's kind of a bonding moment as well. But yes, it definitely fuels into that oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Why do we even talk about it? Let them increase their effing prices. Uh, nobody cares. Um, 
No, I think it's also, it's not just about that. It's not just about, oh, well, this could potentially create FOMO and everybody's going to run to the boutique trying to buy a bag before the price increase. Um, more than that, I think videos like these are more important in the future because they raise awareness about the practices of these brands. And I think raising awareness about the fact of what they're doing and how I believe this is not cool, fundamentally not cool because their quality is, in my opinion, down the drain. Uh, for leather goods. So raising awareness is a good thing. You know, sharing your opinion is a good thing. Probably overdue, but Chanel standards, uh, says somebody else, the U S was not affected by the last one, if I'm not mistaken, but will be for with the next one. Probably somebody else says it's about time to raise prices too many Chanel bags out there. Anyways, make it more exclusive. Somebody says, interesting. And then a comment says, sorry, but it's already exclusive. What are you talking about? And then somebody else says that, Horse has left the barn. As prices at Chanel increase, it makes sense for people to save a bit more and buy better quality than Chanel Hermes bags. This is a boost for Hermes. And then somebody else also replied, Chanel is not hurting for customers, so clearly they are good at running their business. And lots of people prefer Chanel's aesthetic to Hermes. It's all a matter of personal taste, of course. Those two brands are not interchangeable. But the quality difference is very visible between the two brands though. Uh, and then somebody answered to the original comment, that's quite classicist. Uh, I buy bags that I enjoy not to be some elitist marker. Somebody answered, I agree. The ones complaining most likely cannot afford before the price increase. Uh, the fact that you buy them to differentiate yourself from pleb doesn't mean others do. Cha. Yeah, people want to wear Chanel accessories covered in logos for their inner beauty and spiritual meaning. Cringe. Uh, no, it's just a pretty elegant handbag. No way around it. Uh, be it with logo or not logo, just fine. And I get a special feeling when I carry my Chanel. Uh, somebody then says, and I'm sorry to have to disagree here, but somebody says prices will increase due to inflation. No, honey. <laughs> Listen, there's a percentage of inflation that happens every year, yearly. Uh, the, the prices that Chanel is doing, they don't follow any inflation. They are way above the inflation percentage, way above it. So somebody answered, it's not just due to inflation. This company's net profits are astronomical. Prices will continue to rise and rise and rise. As for me, I'll sit back with the bags I purchased years prior and watch the madness of people buying at any price and read posts where the debate continues. Exactly. You're doing the right thing. And the thing is, it's always going to be something new and pretty. Well, pretty debatable. New debatable also. But uh, they're definitely going to try it in their 10 collections a year, overproducing stuff. And they're going to still try to make you think that it's something really special. Uh, when in reality, it's kind of like a luxury version of H&M at this point in my opinion. Uh, inflation, but also demand, is what I have experienced with most of my purchases over the last few years. Somebody else says, Chanel is, um, in a v uh, is a very popular brand and increasing in prices is a must for them, who are for the people who are willing to pay, will get it on and overpriced as well. Though I like it how Chanel keeps their collection classy and chic. Somebody else says, Chanel is a very popular brand. Oh, I read that one already. So interesting to see how most of the conversation, sure, some people are still going to say, oh, this is fabulous. Let them raise prices so it becomes more elitist and exclusive. If you are of that mindset, I don't think we can have a conversation here because if you're of that mindset, we have really, uh, like from the roots up, a different vision of the world completely. But uh, for the many people that have said that they feel uncomfortable wearing their Chanel since a while now, I am one of those people. I really feel uncomfortable as well. Like having a Chanel bag with me on the go, it, it feels tone deaf to me at this point. It really does. Like personally, you know, you do you. I'm not judging you. You do whatever you want. But I'm saying for me personally... I'm sitting here with, you know, I have a ton of Chanel bags that I purchased all, you know, throughout the years. And I'm just thinking to myself, will there ever come a time again when I feel comfortable wearing this stuff again? I hope so. Otherwise, 
Otherwise, what? What am I going to do? I'm just sitting on this stuff, so I should maybe consider selling them. Because if they don't bring me any more joy in the near future, what do you do with them? Just to collect dust and make you feel bad? It's it's sad. It's a sad realization. But I am kind of at that point now in, in my life where as much as I love Coco, uh, I really don't like the brand. Uh, Chanel, when it comes to their pricing techniques and bags and accessories, right? I still love their perfumes. I still love their makeup. Uh, you know, that's something that I still consider really elevated. Um, and even though expensive, still obtainable. Uh, but, uh, and also it's something you don't see, you know, the perfume doesn't have a logo. If you put on a Chanel perfume, it's not going to scream Chanel, you know, you're not going to have a double C all over you. So there's that same with makeup, but what are you guys thoughts? I don't know. Is it time? Is it time to sell our Chanel bags and call it a day? Let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe.